Hey everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and we're in the park today with a gentle yoga sequence for you. This practice is great if you just have a little bit of time and you want to, you know, have a little bit of yoga go a long way. Uh, there's no vinyasa flows in this guy, so it's uh, pretty good on the wrist. And it's really great for beginners who are growing their practice and want to spend a little more time on the foundations and kind of low to the ground, building our practice from the ground up. All right, embrace the sights and sounds of the park with me today, and let's get started. So today we're going to begin in a nice, comfortable, cross-legged position. Feel free to lift your hips up high on a blanket, a block, a pillow. And the, the, the way to kind of spot if you want to do that is if you feel like your back, your spine is kind of pulling you back and you need a little lift in the hips so you can sit up nice and tall and allow the legs to fall down. So just kind of take a second, again, no rush today, nice gentle practice to observe what's going on in the lower body, how it's connected to the lower back body, and then allow that information to travel up yonder. So take your time. And then when you arrive, Go ahead and find a gentle lift in the heart center, the chest, opening up through the front body here, lifting. Then on your next breath, take a big breath in and inhale. We're gonna loop the shoulders forward, up and back. Nice big circle. And again, inhale, reach the shoulders forward and up and back. And then one more time, big circle in the shoulders. Then allow the hands to rest gently wherever they naturally lie. Close your eyes, trust, and begin to deepen your breath. Notice your breath. If you're familiar with the ujjayi breath, maybe you play a little bit with that here. Maybe you just finally take the deepest breath you've taken in all day. A nice cleansing exhale out through the mouth, perhaps. A couple more here. I'm just taking in how you feel in this moment. I'm taking around, uh, taking in my surroundings. There's this light drizzle. There's all this, this hubbub around me. So just take in where you are now, literally. Begin to deepen the breath. Bringing some fresh oxygen, some fresh flow into your body and expanding your awareness. Listening to the sounds, noticing the quality of air in the room. We'll take one more breath here. And we'll begin to drop the chin to the chest, keep the shoulders drawing back, just stretching through the back of the head. I'm gonna bring the hands gently to the, the back of the neck here, the atlas, you can interlace. And then I'm not gonna pull or tug, I'm just going to have a, a fun little dance with gravity today. So chin to chest, letting the weight of the arms gently melt down, breathing deep. One more breath here. Then roll up tall through the spine, lengthen through the neck as you lift the head. And we're just gonna stretch the fingers high up towards the sky. Big, big stretch here. Spread your fingertips. Reach, reach, reach. Take a deep breath in and then exhale. Bend the elbows, slight back bend here as you lift your heart. Ground down through the tops of the thighs. Thumbs go back, pinkies forward. Big breath in, big breath out. Sends you to all fours. Ah. Awesome, move nice and slow. Enjoy each transition in and out of things. This time is for you, so enjoy your practice. Spread the palms super wide. Knees underneath the hip points, wrists directly underneath the shoulders. So again, no rush today, take your time. And then when you arrive, we're just gonna shift the hips a little uh, left and right. Just checking it out, noticing if the toes are coming in or splaying out. See if you can find two parallel lines here. Toes pointing straight back. Mmm. Smells like incense. There must be something naturally out here that smells good. Uh, and then we'll bring the hips back to center. 
Everyone, bend your elbows and then press away from your yoga mat as you find length through the neck. So you can take a second to look at the video, of course, and then when you feel like you got your bearings, send your gaze straight down, remembering that the neck is a nice long extension of the spine. Deep breaths here, super important to breathe. It's not easy, but nice conscious breaths. It's why we're here and it's what supports uh, the practice. So gentle rocks now, front to back, just stretching through the arms. Noticing if you're really heavy on your hands, if you can find that resistance, pressing away from your yoga mat, creating a nice long line from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. Cool, then keep the knees where they are, bring the right hand to the center, and inhale, left fingertips up towards the sky. Now you might not make it all the way here at first, in fact you might be here or even here depending on the tightness in the body. So just be where you are here today, meet your edge as you inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, open. Moving with the breath, exhale, release. Maybe left fingertips come underneath. And we inhale, open. Exhale, release. And one more time, you got it. Inhale, press away from your yoga mat. Grow nice and tall, long in the neck. And exhale, release. Great, switch. Left hand to the center line. Again, super important not to collapse here. Keep that length, that space that broadness in the upper body. And when you're ready, inhale, reach the right arm up. Just see how far you can go on this side. And then exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going, inhale. Nice awareness through the fingertips here. Notice if the toes again are coming in or splaying out, nice conscious footing. Inhale, lift, open. Exhale, soften back to center. Let's do one more. Inhale, lift, stretch, lengthen. Exhale, release. Awesome. Puppy posture, Adrian's all-time favorite. Drop the elbows right underneath the shoulders. Find this <laughs> tilt in the pelvis that feels so good to do in public place. Free yourself. Press into the base of the palms here, and then without bringing the knees in or out, I'm going to walk them back. Nice straight line. So I create kind of a slip and slide in the spine here. I rock the pelvis up towards the sky, and maybe the forehead comes to the mat. Three nice, long, full deep breaths here, my friends, stretching through the shoulders, finding space, length in the side body, and again, this beautiful tilt in the pelvis. Find what feels good here. One more deep breath. You got it. Then press into all 10 knuckles. Begin to look forward, nice and slow, my friends. Nice and easy, I'm gonna come onto the belly. Oh yeah. Great, toes still pointing straight out. Nice conscious footing. Press into the tops of the feet. Press into the pubic bone. And let's grow tall from here. Sphinx pose. So take a second to just notice the bones. Press in all 10 knuckles. And as if you were trying to tear your yoga mat in half, left to right, really engage foundation. Now don't stop there, keep breathing. Nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. If you notice that you're clenching in the brows or in the jaw, soften. Find a sense of calm here as you engage. Pressing into the elbows, again, pressing into the pubic bone. Just a little advance tip here is just careful notice if you're clenching in your buttocks see if you can soften through the buttocks while still engaging the earth okay a couple more breaths here I invite you to close your eyes see this beautiful line from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone arms are working hard here yes but we're engaged alignment great beautiful one more breath and we use the exhale to release everything oh yeah Palms underneath the shoulders. We curl the toes under. We press back up to all fours. Walk the knees underneath the hip points. Find your alignment again. How fast can we get there? So we're not rushing, but we are bringing our attention always to the foundation, working from the ground up so that when we're in the pose, we can find what feels good and feel alive. Cat cow, here we go. Chin to chest, navel draws up. Press into your foundation. Then inhale, drop the belly. Stretching through the front body, heart radiates forward. Exhale, curling up through the tailbone, traveling up the spine till the crown of the head has to release. 
and then inhaling opposite direction all right, I invite you to close your eyes here. Trust, a couple more. Moving with your breath. Awesome, we'll come back to center. Awesome work, everyone. Walk the palms slightly forward. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, curl the toes under, and then send the hips up high, downward facing dog. Begin to pedal through the, the feet, stretch through the legs. Press into all 10 knuckles firmly, especially the index finger and thumb. Not gonna be here long, breathe deep, you got it. Your first inversion of the day, or maybe of your whole life. Keep breathing. And then we'll come back to all fours. Great, sit back on the heels and flip the palms up, take a rest. Find a lift in the heart. If the knee, sitting on the knees is not available to you, just go side saddle. And just letting the blood flow opposite direction. Sticking with your breath today. Awesome, then we'll come back to all fours. Feel free to give a little rotating of the wrists here if that feels good. And then I'm gonna send my right leg out long when I arrive. Turn the toes down. Work at squaring the hips. This is something we do a lot in our practice, especially these kind of uh, flowy practices. So here's a nice low place to practice, squaring the hips, dropping the right butt cheek <laughs> in line with the left. Press away from your yoga mat, one more breath. And then we'll slowly hug the right knee all the way up and in for a lunge. Take your time getting there, no rush. Left knee stays on the earth today. We press into the top of the left foot and we become light on the fingertips. So you might widen your stance a little here. You might pull the right hip crease back. Stack front knee over that front ankle and then everyone inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, plant the palms, come back to all fours and we're gonna switch, sending the left toes out. Same thing here, work on leveling that left buttock. Notice what's going on in your palms. Are you collapsing all your weight into the right palm? Can we shift to the left? Find that hugging of the lower ribs up and then we'll send left knee up and in to our lunge. Stay on the right knee here. Find your alignment. Lots of mindfulness of the fingertips and toes today. Find your breath as you stretch and lengthen up through the crown. Light on the fingertips here. We'll take one more breath. Awesome, then plant the palms. We're gonna step the left toes back, lift the left knee, lift the right knee, come to a plank position. Press away from your yoga mat here, don't panic. Spike your heels towards the back edge. Create one nice long line from the crown of the head all the way to the, to the heels. So we might play with that by walking the two big toes together. One more breath here, you got it. Then exhale, lower the knees, send the hips back child's pose. We can swim the fingertips all the way around to the back edge of the mat and take a rest. Enjoy again that little relationship with gravity here as the shoulders round forward. We breathe into the back body. Just do your best. Nice conscious breaths. Then slowly we'll reach the fingertips towards the front. Slowly lift the head, the heart, the shoulders all the way back up to all fours. Awesome. Walk the knees out underneath the hip points once again. And we'll spread the fingertips super wide, curl the toes under, and lift up downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Man, it smells so good out here. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Great, and we'll slowly lower back to the knees. So if you're new to the practice and you want to play with uh, strengthening the wrists and stuff, we have a lot of options here. Of course, we have the fists, we have fists and thumbs, but really guys, the main thing is just awareness. You might be rolling on the outer edges of your hands here. See if you can press into the, um, 
index finger and thumb and then just notice what's going on in the shoulders it's all connected so if you're collapsing all your weight in here it's going to start hurting the, the wrist so lift your heart create space between the ears and shoulders let's keep going inhale right toes out level the hips deep breath in exhale squeeze the right knee all the way up and in towards your heart step it up into your lunge okay this time we're going to turn the right toes out just a little bit and come up onto the left fingertips okay if you want a little more this is supposed to be a gentle practice but if you want a little more you can lift that back knee and maybe just lift it for a breath or two to experiment okay here we go inhale i'm going to open up through the right fingertips breathe 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 keep breathing here see if you can create a slight back bend a lift in the heart here lift your chin inhale exhale back to center awesome slowly sending the hips back maybe walking the right heel in just a hair nice runner stretch here flex the right toes up towards the sky not going to be here long so take one more deep breath in exhale bow nose towards the knee and then we'll roll through the right foot come back to all fours yay so find your tabletop position deep breath in long breath out inhale send the left toes out level the hips work to play here just notice where your weight is going hug the lower ribs in then we'll squeeze the left knee up and in towards the heart step it up into your lunge and same thing here maybe you lift that back foot just for a hair maybe not don't lift your back foot your left back knee <laughs> and then here we go coming on to the right fingertips this time just so i'm not crashing in but just so, to help us work on that and then maybe turning the left toes out as I inhale, open left fingertips towards the sky. So there's option here to play, to lift the chin, to find a little back bend here. Do your best. Stick with your breath. Inhale in. Use an exhale to bring it back to center. Walk the left heel in and we'll send the hips back. Flexing the left toes up towards the sky. <sighs> Inhale, find length. Exhale, nose to knee. Mm. Inhale, rolling through the foot. Awesome, everyone. Plant the palms. Left knee comes back to meet the right. We walk the knees together. We tuck the pelvis in. We come to a little half plank here as you inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, lower all the way onto the belly. Release the feet down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Curl the toes under. Lift up. Extended child's pose this time. Knees nice and wide. Heart melts to the earth. Close your eyes. Think about why you showed up on your mat today. And slowly we'll press into the fingertips. Come back to all fours. Walk the knees to center, side saddle, legs to one side, come on to your seat. Nice cross-legged position here, right hand to left knee, left fingertips behind. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. Careful not to muscle through anything here, keep it nice and soft and easy. Inhale, lift and lengthen, moving with the breath. Exhale, twist. Close your eyes for one last breath cycle here. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Left palm to right knee, right fingertips behind. Three breaths in your own time. Maybe you close your eyes already here, inhaling as you lift up through the center channel and exhaling, using that exhale to twist. Gently release back to center and we're going to come to lie flat on our backs. And then inhale, reach the arms all the way up and overhead, full body stretch here. Last leg of our practice here, make it count, stick with your breath. One more inhale in, maybe press into the heels. And then exhale, hug the knees into the chest one at a time, wrap the arms around the shins. Tailbone scoops up and the lower back becomes super flush with the mat. It should feel really good, nice and supportive. 
and supine twist. Inhaling, squeezing right knee up and in towards your heart. Exhale, send the left leg out long. Enjoy the stretch here for one big breath. And then use your exhale to take it over into the twist. Right leg goes to the left, and we open right arm to the right. You can hook the right foot here behind the left thigh. Breathe deeply, my friends. So good for the body. And one more breath. Use your exhale to come back to center. Squeeze the right knee in, and then we switch. Left knee up, right leg out. Connect to your breath, inhale. Exhale, guiding the left knee over towards the right, opening up through the left arm here. Breathe. Nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. Nourishing the systems. Filling the lungs as you inhale in. And then use the exhale to come back to center, nice and easy. Sole of the left foot to the ground. We're gonna lift the right knee, sole of the right foot to the ground. I'm gonna walk my heels in towards my fingertips here. And then gently crawl the shoulder blades, kind of shimmy them underneath the chest. Press into the palms firmly. Inhale, begin to slowly lift the hip points up. This is your back bend for today. Just experimenting, it could stay nice and low, coming into bridge as we press into all four corners of the feet. Toes stay pointing forward. A Little bit of energy between the thighs. hey -o. <laughs> And then we slowly continue the journey up. Breathe deep here. Sit bones reaching energetically towards the backs of the knees. Last but not least, my friends, we lift the chest and then we lift the chin. Again, lift the chest and lift the chin. One more breath, lift the chest, lift the chin, and then slow controlled movement as we release everything back down. Awesome, everyone. Happy baby as we reach towards the outer edges of the feet. You can also grab the big toes here or the end of your pantaloons. Take a second, soles of the feet go up towards the sky. Close your eyes, imagine yourself as a baby. All right, we've all been there. A little childlike energy, just notice how it makes you feel. Find a nice deep breath here. Find any movement that feels good, whether it's straightening one leg out, you bring one heel in, or maybe just gently rocking side to side. Cool, then we'll gently release. Keep the soles of the feet reaching together, knees wide, Supta Baddha Konasana here. Lower back lifts up, and the hands come to rest gently on the rib cage. Hmm. Close your eyes. Again, a little dance with gravity here opens the hips, and you use your breath to, well, I was gonna say to nurture, but to energize, to fill with gratitude. Use your breath to serve you, to calm you, to focus you. So we'll end today with uh, some conscious breath. Maybe you practice belly breathing, inhaling belly uh, lifts, navel rises, exhale it falls. Maybe you just honor and listen to the natural rhythm of your breath today. That natural ebb and flow. Close the eyes, soften through the jaw. Relax. The mantra I like to share here and that I like to practice is allow, release, and let go. You can say that quietly to yourself here. Allow, release, and let go. And gently open up through the arms, palms up towards the sky. Gently slide the right leg out long. 
followed by the left. Take a second here to windshield wiper the toes a little back and forth, back and forth. Then we'll take one final breath in together. Inhale in. Exhale, let it out through the mouth. If time allows, stay here for a couple minutes. And if you have to boogie, just take one final moment here to give thanks for your body and your breath, for your practice. Thanks for showing up today, everyone. Lots of love. Namaste.